Where we are here now is we're standing in Cluan Place in East Belfast. Cluan Place is on the interface. It's on the front line here of, of Protestant Ulster. These people are under daily, nightly and weekly attack from nationalists in Short Strand. This place has been nicknamed by the locals Little Israel because they're surrounded and they're attacked every night. The politicians, the police and the government seem unwill unwilling or incapable of protecting these people who live in here. This community is a community under attack, a community under siege on an almost nightly basis and the politicians, they're unwilling to protect these people. You can see here in this box, this is what the people have picked up that's come over from National Short Strand only in the last two nights. Sinn Féin tell us they're fully behind the peace process. They claim to have a mandate from a Catholic community. Look at some of the stuff that's come over here. These blacks, if that had a child, that had a woman, or had anybody in the head, it would kill them. This doesn't look like a peace process to me. This looks like a community under attack. You can't ride two horses. If you're part of the peace process and you're saying that Sinn Féin representing you engaged in peace, then desist from attacking these people. I'm here now in, in the home of one of the, the elderly people that live here in Cluan Place. If you look at her windows here, this lady can't see out of her windows because she has to have them reinforced due to the attacks happening on her house. The people here in Cluan Place have told me after the serious disorder um, last year in East Belfast, Peter Robinson set up an, an interface task force. He promised the people all sorts. Um, he promised them security measures, he promised to get the houses fixed at the back, he promised that these windows would be properly fixed and properly reinforced so the people could see out. This never materialised and the people here are still under attack and the task force that Peter Robinson set up hasn't delivered anything for the people of Cluan Place or the people of East Belfast that were promised so much. So you can understand why there's such scepticism about the Unionist Forum when we feel again is this the DUP only trying to paper over the cracks for a couple of months and then the people on the ground, the people on the front line, will be left behind? Peter Robinson claims to have a democratic mandate as a leader of unionism. We agree that Peter Robinson was elected and has that mandate. But leaders lead thumb with thump. Leaders are on the ground with the people whenever the women are getting beat off the street, whenever people's homes are under attack. A true leader stands with the people. He doesn't sit in a big posh house or a big office at Stormont and then come out and condemn people the next day. If Peter Robinson's the leader of Ulster, let's see Peter Robinson on the ground leading his people.